Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, where we discuss the highs and lows of business development and how we deal with the ins and outs of everyday living as working leaders and entrepreneurs of our brand that we're building for ourselves. Welcome to episode 55. I'm Darina Shine. I am the host of the show and welcome to the podcast. We have 42 people in the podcast. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Also, today is September the 27th. We're going to talk today about the validation of putting yourself into a better position than what you were in prior to building your brand. Firstly, I would like to send a shout out to my wonderful people who work very diligently in the nonprofit arena of the Youngstown Community Center. We want to start out with the Honorable Sherrod Brown. He is a wonderful rendition of, you know, support and help through getting our women's shelter ready for uh, move in, our move in grand opening. And I also give a strong shout out to Mr. Juan, my senior advisor. Thank you so much for all that you do. Um, Captain Johnson, Brad Pavone for the Youngstown Community Center Community Advisory Board here in Ohio, and uh, Javier as well as many other people who are part of the process behind the Youngstown Community Center. Our support sponsors, financial backers, David Cohen, and all of the many different nonprofits that are a part of the Youngstown Community Center background. Thank you so much for caring and being such a vital part of helping people in a community in which you don't live in, you know? And that's the beautiful part about moving and helping people. People helping people, it's, it's phenomenal. It's a powerful opportunity, something that everyone should be willing to do. Everyone should be in the mode of helping others. Um, When we sit back and we look at the women in our world today, you know, many of them have not been given the opportunity to express independence. And so there's a lot of times where, you know, others have to be the voice of that one woman who sits and deals with certain things in her life. But if she was given the opportunity and the chance to just be a vital part of her own life, what would she create for herself? And that's what I want you to understand, entrepreneurs, my shining entrepreneurs. You have the investment. You have the opportunity. You have the portal to move yourself through your leadership situations that you befall when you are looking at entrepreneurship. And you have to say to yourself, five years from now, is this going to be the brand in which I want to commit for myself? There are many, many people sitting in the institutions in both the state levels and the federal levels because of making decisions that was just easy to do. Being and branding your brand with the wrong people. Excuse me. Let me get something to drink. Um, Branding yourself with the wrong people can really be an impactful scenario that causes you to have future situations befall you and you not even realize that it was something that shouldn't have been done. So that's why I'm saying dotting your I's and crossing your T's, asking the right questions, being around the right people, building the right brand, building ethics and morals within your business is going to be, or your life, 
for that matter. Building the basic fundamentals of morality, making sure that you tell the truth before you think of telling a lie, making sure that you're empowering yourself and not taking advantage and manipulating the situation to get more because then nothing works. Nothing makes sense when you don't have anything to fight for. You have nothing to live for. And then life gets mundane and boring. And that's where we have, you know, issues that come about of, uh, of dark nature. So as an entrepreneur, being a leader in your life is the most validating thing that you can do. And you are the person you are when no one else is looking. Whatever you do in the dark, whatever you do outside of others looking and watching you, that's who you are, who you are genuinely. So if that means you're a liar because you lie in the dark, that because that means you may be <coughs> see this energy don't want me to get this out. Hold on one second. Hold on, but I because I'm gonna keep on doing it. Hold on. Okay. If you're a liar and a manipulator and a a person that has no value, you're going to be that same person when no one's looking. That's when you're really going to be who you really are. And that is a very sad place to be when we're trying to start a life in a successful manner. We have to heal from those trauma-induced thinking errors, those errors that say, I am who I am when everyone's looking, but when I'm no one's looking, I'm going to lie, cheat, steal, manipulate. I'm going to do white collar crime. I'm going to do black collar crime. I'm going to do green collar crime, crimes that you could not even think of imagining, fathoming, because you don't have the wherewithal in order to make sure that you stand up to be the upstanding shining star that you are. And you, we don't have to make the negative decision. We choose to make the negative decision. And if that negative decision constantly leads you down a pathway, no matter how good people are to you, no matter how caring people are to you, that is, a, that is not even addiction. People use addiction in order to get and manipulate what it is they're trying to pursue. I met a woman that I started out with on my life journey. And me and this woman was in the same position at one point. But I see this woman later and I'm just like, hey, how's my friend? How's my friend? And guess what? My friend is in the same position he, she was when we started out at, a, at our lowest point in life together. I could choose to go her route or I could say, I don't want to go there. That is not my way. That is not my leadership style. That is not the role in society I want to play. <coughs> so I refuse to play the role. I refuse to allow that role to manipulate me and make me think that it's okay to play the victim. Put myself in an ad addictive personality and call it victimology. I'm not a victim. And that's one thing my state court case taught me. I'm not a victim because in the state of Ohio, this is where you take 100% accountability. And that's the difference between serving a life sentence of 34 years and recognizing and realizing that I'm worth so much more than that. And getting my life in order and putting it back together and then giving a sentence reduction of almost 99%. So this is what I'm trying to say. As entrepreneurs, we need to know what validates why we do what we do. And there is no excuse. When you have opportunities that allow you 
the very thing that you desire. If you have the opportunity to be free and you have freedom, why would you incarcerate yourself? That's stupidity. That's insanity. And that's a mental health situation that only a person within can heal from within. And being honest about who we are and why we do what we do makes us more valuable than any leader that could tell us something otherwise. So this is what I want you to think about today. My shining entrepreneurs, I feel you. I thank you. Kennedy, you're right. Being real is the only way that you're going to be able to be successful because you're not a success when you're fake. And there is no faking it until you make it. Roxanne, there's no faking it till you make it because when you fake it, you have never made it. You've only played yourself because you did the bare minimum in life. The bare minimum. And what happens to the person who gives the bare minimum? They lose out being the winner. They lose the ability to be a winner. And this is what I want you to understand, entrepreneurs. You can be the most mediocre person with an LLC that's sitting there with all your dreams sitting on a shelf, looking at money that you've wasted just to say you have an LLC. Or you can work and strive to do more and be more and have more within that LLC and not even compete with other people. Just implement processing, plugging it in doing research, finding out what is the best way to be a success. And as a business developer, that's how I maintain my life each day. And with much is given, much is going to be required. We just ble got blessed with another location, beautiful location. This is our fourth location. And I believe that the more we continue to educate ourselves and research the abilities to help others, more will be added, more will be granted. It's not about being the best. It's about having what we need in order to pursue the very thing that we should be helping others to understand about themselves. Why be fake when you can be real? It's so much harder to be the fake individual than the real. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm not. Because everybody know what they do. Everybody got their reasons for being here on the face of this planet. It is yet up to you on how you gonna pursue what it is you're gonna pursue. But remember this, when karmic vibration comes back, it's gonna knock on your door and you're gonna have to answer it. Because if you don't answer it, a hurricane will break the door down to get to you. There's going to be a consequence that you pay for every single thing, entrepreneurs, that, that you do, that we do in the auspice and in the name of negativity, in the name of disrespect, in the name of injustice, injustice. And not everyone is a victim. Some of these people are blatantly attacking themselves, putting their character at risk, and believing they're in the right. Who does that but a sick, twisted, reprobated individual who has chosen not to adhere to the laws of the land because he or she thinks that she or he can maneuver and do something to get away with something and it's called manipulation. But you're the only man or woman in that instance that's being manipulated because the universe knows and you do too. And you're the most valuable person in your life, when no one else is looking 
and when they are looking. So if you can lie to yourself, then that means you're too weak to stand up to be anything other than a victim. Especially when you don't help yourself. When you don't go get the counseling you need and you know you got issues, then something is wrong with you. If you think you're okay, then you deserve every karmic vibration that you receive. And here's the sad part. Manipulators take down other people who care about them. Manipulators will hear the same story over and over again. And still, when it comes down to the brass tacks of it all, will do everything to destroy even the people that is trying to help them. That's why we got to be careful what partnerships we build in our businesses. We even got to be careful of the children in which we rear. When it comes down to them making decisions for their own lives. <clears throat> those are the ones that will hurt you and they don't even recognize that they will. And that's the saddest part in this game called life. So realize what I'm saying to you. Be mindful and meditate daily and pay attention to the signs and the symbols that the universe is giving because we're in a time where the people we care about the most is the most reprobated in the mindset. And they think that they're normal. They think that they're intelligent. They think that they're doing everything that they can and they're dragging themselves down a dark, deep tunnel that they can only blame themselves. That's why we as guardians of children are only given those children for a certain amount of time because after the age of 12, anything and everything that can be done will be brought upon their heads. But some don't care. Some want to come to the planet and their goal to be here was to destroy something. And we have to live with that. That's why our institutions of incarceration is so full. And guess what? There's a lot of people in the institutions that had the opportunity to be business developers, had the opportunity to be great people, but they chose to go a certain way and they chose to just do nothing, have nothing. And there were so many people rooting for them. So again, it is their choice. It is their choice. And I'm taking this rant tonight because I know that there's somebody out here listening to me that is dealing with some energy around them that they care about. Some child, some grandchild, some uncle, some cousin, some brother, some sister that they care so much about. And the only thing that is happening is that person is continuing to devour our emotional opportunities to be able to care and love for them because they don't feel deserving of love because they know who they are when the backs of others turn from them and they're in their deepest, darkest world. They know exactly what they're going to do next to destroy themselves. And they will take everybody in a hundred mile radius down with them because they don't care. And at what point do we not care? At what point? That's why I say the other day I did a podcast. I think it was yesterday. Did a podcast regarding a woman who knew before she got married, who knew that some red flags was in the fire because the universe don't just let us fall short or throw us out there with the wolves without giving us a message, a subliminal hint. Don't do that. 
Don't go down there. You continue to ignore me. Your ass about to get beat up. Your ass about to get bit up. Your ass about to go down to the lion's den. Entrepreneurs, I have to talk to you this way because this is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm enduring right now in my own personal life. And that hard-headed individual is going to take what is given to them and throw it all away. Just so they can say, oh, I had such a bad life. I didn't have a mother. I didn't have a father. My father was on drugs or my grandmother wasn't around or a pandemic hit or I couldn't do it because I had a mental health order disorder or I didn't try hard enough. I ignored every sign and symbol. Yeah, I'm accountable for every damn thing that I've done. I was told a million times not to do it and I still did it. And now this is the consequence and karma is knocking on my door. Since I didn't answer it, busted through with a hurricane. It still got to me. No matter where it got to go, it's going to find you. Karma is going to find you. Especially when you are not taking the initiatives to listen, to learn, to understand that there are victims out here that are true victims and not the perpetrators manipulating, trying to be a victim. These are the people where the true victims don't have an opportunity. The true victims will look like a big mistake. Like they're the biggest perpetrator in the world because there's too many fake victims around in this world. How you like that, entrepreneurs? Some of them can be our own children. Some of them cannot want to see us succeed to the point so much that they will do something so opposite of what anybody who had the opportunity to be granted success would do. They would do the total opposite just to say that I wasn't raised right. But that's a lie because I'm a witness of it myself. I know that I've had the best upbringing. I know that I've always had the best teachings. I know that I've always had the best leaders around me. Now what I did, I did because I chose to. But why did I choose to do that when I could have done something more successful? I could have been so much further ahead of the game. But I chose to step in a way and take on a parenting style that I shouldn't have stepped into the middle midst of. And I'm not saying that a child who's born in this world doesn't have, have situations that they're going to have to fight harder at in order to persevere, I'm saying that if you don't fight, then you're the biggest trouble in your own life. If you don't try to be the best you can be, you're the biggest trouble in your own life because you don't know who you're taking down. You don't know what type of lifestyle someone has dedicated to you in order to make you feel and see a life just to be free, just to be able to understand What's going on to give you a life? And the best you can do to thank them is to destroy your life as well as the person who believed in you. Then you're nothing but the devil almighty himself. You're nothing but a conjuring of spirits that should not exist on the face of this planet, because your goal is to come here to make more of yourself, to do more for yourself, to learn more, to experience things. Yes, we're going to make those mistakes, but at what cost are we making them? When we're putting ourselves in the lion's den, we're opening up the den for the lion to devour us. Play with fire, you will get burned. 
And when somebody's life is that good that they have nothing to live for, nothing to fight for, they turn it back on the people that's there for them and try to destroy their lives. So think about this. If I'm wrong, put it in the chat. Comment. Tell me I am wrong. This is not real. Tell me. Tell me. Because I need to know. Thank you so much for being a part of Chronicles of a Nonprofit. This is a chronicle. This is a high and low day for me. This is a day where you give of your all. And I'm not talking about a generation. I'm I'm not talking about a generation. I'm talking second generation, third generation. You give her your all and that's all you had. And that generation turns around and smacks you in the face and say, I don't want what you got for me. It's not that they don't want it. They don't deserve it. It's that they're telling you, you're not, I'm not worthy of what you have to offer me. Because if they don't know themselves, you can give them the world and they'll burn it up. They'll burn it up. I see people walking up and down the streets, addicts, not knowing their names, not taking baths for two weeks and then crying about something because they that's how they've been manipulated. They played the game so much because they never thought to sit back and just learn them. So they gave up on life and they became this funky, nasty, dark hole that knew the mysteriousness of that negativity. And it's in video games. Look at the video game people that sit there all day and play video games. They they can be there for days and not even know they took a shower. But everybody's here for a reason, huh? God bless you all. As always, entrepreneurs, stay consistent, be on time, be clean, fight this addiction, and give your hats off to your recovery. And as always, keep it 100, and we'll see you next time.